Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. We're going to talk about Jon Stewart because he's back on The Daily Show, and I did a video about this uh, before, but uh, he's making waves because, God forbid, the guy attacks the other side. The other side. All he did was say that Biden's old. And uh, all of his peers are now dogpiling him. We've seen this before. Uh, we saw it with Bill Maher. Uh, he got dogpiled by the left. And we also uh, saw it with Joe Rogan. I mean, these are people that pretty much haven't changed their opinions. But uh, they're kind of getting eaten by their own, their own side now because you're not allowed to say anything, anything negative about the side you're supposed to be defending, yeah. right? And uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about this. The ratings were really good, though. He had really good ratings. Uh, I don't know how long that's going to last, but but we'll talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, you get woohoo. 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 I don't know if Jon Stewart's really feeling the woohoos right now. Maybe he's thinking I should have just uh, stayed down. <laughs> he oh, no. retired. He came back after nine years, and uh, everybody who loved him now hates him. This is not the first time Basically, this has happened. Basically, stayed like like a lot of us ones in the middle, where you stayed where you were, and no matter and if you and everything goes so extreme, pretty much anything that's that's a little bit right of far left makes you an alt right Yahtzee. Yeah. So per, yeah, and we noticed this too. And this is again, this has happened with Joe Rogan. It's happened with Bill Maher, where they they haven't changed really. We haven't changed. We haven't changed. Just everything changed around us. So John Stewart's gone for nine years. He comes back. He's like, what the hell? But he should have realized because I remember a couple of years ago uh, he was getting blasted over his take on the uh, coronavirus on the Wuhan lab. He was making a joke about it. He's like, where do you think it came from? Could be the Wuhan lab that says. COVID Wuhan lab right on the door. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, but uh, they were You're trying to, to say that they were trying to shut him up. And he, he just said, F you, I'm, I'm done. Now, some people uh, on the right took that to mean that like, Oh, he's one of us now. No, no, he's not. Um, most of his uh, hot take, I guess, in his, his opening monologue was about uh, Russia and Tucker Carlson and all that crap. But it's funny to see how, People that love this guy are now eating him just because he's. Well, it's like it's okay when he was saying tongue. he was saying shitty things about Tucker Carlson, but how dare he say Biden's old? That's all he said. I'm like, that's just like a fact. That's just a <laughs> fact. He's, he's old. old. Have you heard him? Have you seen him? Robin Williams. Robin Williams was making the observation that Joe Biden wasn't very sharp before his untimely death. I mean, we're talking years ago, and that was. Years ago. Years ago. He's gotten so That's much what worse. Years ago means. I'm just saying. Like, yeah, there you go. See, I'm, I mean, I'm he's, you, he, brain fog he's too. Clearly has problems. I, I I think it's sad because it's like he can't people age differently. And I, I do I am concerned because he seems stumbly and he doesn't seem to understand where he is sometimes and things he said. And like concerned? It's con no, I mean it's kind of He like, shouldn't even be driving a car, let alone like, driving the country. I don't know, I mean, it's almost like, you know, is it abuse because, you know, he's still in there? Oh, he's not running the country. I never said I he was. I mean, I mean, I don't know who the hell is actually running the country. I would love to know who the hell is actually running the country, but it's not him. He's, he's clearly not capable. And I'm just like, I don't it. care, you know, if you're super far left or super far right. It's just like. It's facts. I mean, yeah, he's, it's facts. You observe fact. this man. If I didn't say he was the Democratic president, right, the one that you guys want, and you just saw this guy. You'd be like, why is this person the president? You know, you'd be like, what the hell is going on? It's just, <laughs> it's just, you know. Why is he out of the home? Why is he wearing street clothes? He should be wearing pajamas. They and should, I know. And they watching should, the they, prices right. Limits. You have yes, age limits on yes. how old you have to be to even run for president. I think yes. there should be age limits on how old you are to be president. Because is, they keep electing these people. They keep they're presenting people that are too damn old. That, well, that's what, yeah. I mean, seriously, like. Are there no qualified candidates under the age of 65 in this country? I mean, <laughs> I, know, right? I, I mean, come on. Of the millions of people in the country, you, you're telling me we can't find two or three qualified candidates under the age of 65. But here we are. So anyway, this come from the Daily Beast. I'll take under 70 even. I, under 70 even would be fine. Yeah, John Stewart fires back at backlash to his Daily Show return. Uh, yeah, the ratings were great. I guess people were excited to have him back, but he didn't get the memo. 
He didn't get the memo. Uh, the, it's no longer, uh, you know, 2008, 2010. So you just point out something that's, you know, I'm sorry. It, and most people would look at it, if they're being honest and fair, they'd be like, yeah, it's a concern. <laughs> and, and now you're in trouble for that. The Daily Show host promised his naysayers. He didn't mean to trigger them by saying out loud what I saw with my eyes and then with my brain. <laughs> Basically, what most people have already noticed. Three million people tuned in to Comedy Central to see what Jon Stewart had to say. That's not a whole lot, honestly. Uh, well, for Comedy Central, probably. Um, yeah, after nearly a decade away from the desk. Well, those viewership numbers were enough to make the episode the most watched show on cable. Wow, so I guess that is good. But for cable, it's pretty good. I guess. Not all the feedback for Stewart was exactly positive. On Monday, Stewart reacted to the news of his return by sharing a few of the most brutal reactions on X, formerly Twitter. Those included ex-MSNBC star Keith Oberman's insistent or uh, Oberman's uh, insistence that Stewart is uh, both. S- Wait, what? Wait, okay. What? What? What the fuck does this mean? Stewart, Basically, if you're in the middle, a both sides exist fraud. Basically, you have to agree with one side or the other completely. And you have to take a side, even when there's no really side to tape, or you are a you are a both sides is fraud. Oh, they call me that all the time. A both sides is fraud and suggesting that the he new, pointed out the obvious. The new Monday Night King disappear from the airways for another nine years. So he says one thing they don't like. Biden's old. Get the hell off the air. What's wrong with you? But they were okay with everything he said about Tucker Carlson. <laughs> they were absolutely okay with That's that. Okay. While Stewart begrudgingly admitted that the response to his return was maybe not universally glowing, he pointed out that many of his harshest critics came at him from X, where everyone is miserable. Well, I well, love this. This is talking facts. I'm just saying. I've seen. He said this. I've seen people on Twitter tell Labradoodles to go fuck <laughs> themselves. Labradoodles. Yes, I like that. <laughs> He's. I mean, I don't like everything he says, but dudes is pointing out the obvious. Welcome to the party. Mary Trump, the outspoken anti-Trump niece of Donald, described Stewart's comments, which took aim at both Trump and Biden, as a potential disaster for democracy. <laughs> because you're not allowed. Because you said Biden's old. <laughs> because you can't take sides. You you have to take or you have to take sides. You're not allowed to be in the middle. You us centrists and people. You know, I call them the the rational people, the ones that you know. I think the majority. I, I would honestly say the majority of people are somewhere in the in the center. Yeah. They might lean left, they might lean right, but the majority of people I think are in the middle. It's the extremists that you hear from all the time. They're the ones that are like taking it way too far. And I, and I guess what you're doing is making just fun of the extremes because they are extremes, but saying Biden's old is just a fact. Oh my God. Um, yeah, and you spent most of the time uh, going after Tucker Carlson anyway. Tucker Carlson- That's who okay was, though. That's that, okay. That's okay. Um, you're allowed to do that. I was surprised that Tucker Carlson was surprised that that some shopping carts have a little place where you can put a quarter in or a ruple or whatever it is in Russia, like Aldi's. And he was like amazed. Wait, wait, he thought it was I thought it was Russia because they had the. Cart. He thought Russia was was yes that they were so advanced because he went to the grocery store in Russia and he was able to get a shopping cart. Like you put the coin in and you take the shopping cart. So this incentivizes people to put the cart back. Isn't that genius? I'm like, it's called fucking Aldi, well, Tucker. Comma. Come on, yeah. There's a couple commas. It's called fucking comma all these I'm, I'm, comma tucker I, I, i'm just saying i was I mean, like yeah, i watched that clip i was like are you freaking kidding me so anyway uh and i don't watch Tucker. i don't watch the talking heads i used to watch john stewart back in the day because he was funny he was a comedian first and when he was gone things got way more political and now he tries to come back and, and now he tries to come back and be funny middle, and you're not allowed to be it's not gonna work because they're just so they're so far um, you're not allowed. You're not allowed to point out the obvious. You're not allowed to be in the middle. Robin, you're not allowed to say both sides have problems. You're not allowed to say that. Robin Williams did it. I, in, in current year, his good friend Whoopi Goldberg would grab him by the ear and drag him out and be like, Robin, you apologize for saying that Joe Biden doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. You know, it's yeah. like, but, but Whoopi, he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. And that was you know, 15 years ago, right? He said he wondered out loud where on earth he'd go to learn the honest, the ways of honest journalism. Where do I go to study the particulars of unquestioning propaganda? So I would need mentorship. <laughs> exactly. Because that's the thing. You, you don't have to question it. And the oh thing is, when we're, we're Gen X. We were taught to question everything. Yes. Yeah. I, I question everything. I don't give a shit. I don't like, I'll tell you the truth. Um, I don't like anybody that's running. Um, I wish we had younger, better 
candidates. I, I can't well, believe. We just have better ones. You know what I mean? But I, I, think, I think age is important, though. I think that that. I know people like Trump. I know they do, and that's fine. What, I'm not, whatever. you know, you're allowed. But I'm just saying, I think it gets to a place where just, I think age should be considered. Yes, because, I mean, I honestly, I've said before, I'm probably going to feel differently when I'm 65, but I've said once you hit 60, 65, I think you should have to take your driver's license test every year or every other year to keep your driver's license because people do age differently. You know, they do. I think, I think you could probably get up to 70. Maybe 70. I think that unless there's a medical reason why people think that, you know, if their doctor or something says that you should be checked, then they then do that. But you probably can get up to 70. But um, here we have uh, uh, Chris D. Jackson. Wow. So you basically say because Biden is old, he's as bad as Trump. Why the F? Why their F do we never learn as a country? Sorry, but I won't be watching you either. I'm not going to watch you either because you said Biden's old. What they're afraid of now is like you. They're afraid they're going to lose. Well, you're going to lose by default. You can run a potato against Biden. I mean, it's not going to take much. It really isn't. And, you know, you've had lots of time to find another candidate. I'm just saying. I don't know. I, I just think it's funny. Like when you, you just point out the obvious or you try to say things like hey, this is the, you try to be funny. Like this side has this problem. This side has this problem. How very dare you. You're only allowed to speak hate towards the other side. Yeah. You're not allowed to like ever say anything about our side or you're, you're a whatever. What do you call them? What was the middle? What do you a call both them? Sides both is. sides. Is. It's almost a fascist. I'm just being like, a both sides is how dare you listen to both sides and see if there are any valid points coming. I mean, we're getting this all, we're getting it on the right and the left. We get people that are just like, so entrenched in whatever the dogma of their particular affiliation is. And they're so afraid to speak outside of that because they don't want their friends to think they might be a, a Nazi or anything. And it's like, it's just, it's God, it's going to get really bad this year. I, I said on Twitter, I mean, he says about Twitter and he's hundred percent right. About it, about it. I'm like, I don't know if I can stand Twitter going into November because I'm seeing a lot of shit on there. That's that's like, all it is. It's all it is. Just, politics. Whatever happened to you know thought? Like whatever happened to thinking whatever to yourself? Happened to whatever thinking. thought? Whatever happened to you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, whatever dis- happened discussion, to thinking? Whatever happened to discussion? Whatever happened yeah. to being able to think for yourself and being like you know looking at the candidates and being like you know. I, I side with this one more than this one, and but I know what they're talking about. I might as well go with it because I'm told I have to, you know. And you can't, you can't think for yourself anymore. You're not allowed to. You you have to have the same group think, or you're a traitor. And it's 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 absolutely insane. It's like you're shunned if you don't agree, and it's very scary. I mean, I like to stay in the middle and make up my own mind and think for myself. Thank you. If you're gonna try to tell me I'm a bad person because I don't like follow what you think just because you told me to, but then I'm just a bad person because I'm not gonna follow it unless I see it for myself. I'm not just gonna believe it because you said so. That's just, I mean, that's just what it is. Yeah, but God, it's so crazy. They said, yeah, he was on this podcast. I guess they said after. Yes, the, I do remember the this. COVID thing. I forgot how angry people were. They said my my big problem was I thought it was a pretty good bit. Yeah, and it was kind of a joke. He was kind of. They said. You want to know where it came from? The, it came from the place that says the COVID lab on the damn sign. That's where it came from. A lot of people think so. But he's like, oh, maybe it's a pangolin. Uh, you kissed a monkey and uh, had sex with a bat. And that's where it came from. I forget what the bit was exactly. <laughs> but it was, pre- it was pretty good, right? It, it's like it's a, a little more believable that it came from this lab than it did from, you know, some some monkey sex or whatever the hell they're saying it came from. But yeah, he said... Um, they said now he's racist against Asian people and he's part of the alt right because he's questioning where, <laughs> where the but that's the problem. Came they, from. This, that's the whole thing I have a problem with. And and I'm gonna it's obviously on one side way more than on the other. But it's like you have to be in lockstep. If you're not in lockstep, it's because you're a Yahtzee or you're, you know, this or that or whatever. And it's like you're not allowed that there's no nuance of thought. It's you have to believe what they say and eat it up and, 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 you know, parrot it back to everyone and be militant or you're a blankety blank, isophobic, alt-right, whatever to try to bully you. And I'm tired of it. And I'm like, look, I mean, I don't, I'm not going to watch Jon Stewart normally. It's not something I do. I mean, Neil, I would watch him before I would. I'm I used to watch him, but it, it's going to get, it's, you know, I, I'm hoping, I'm Which hoping. The world doesn't exist, but you know. <sighs> I'm sorry. What's that? I just want to watch my K-drama. I pretend the rest of the world doesn't I exist. think that's what happened with Jon Stewart. I'll, I'll tell you the truth, because he said he was shocked at the anger that his side was giving him. I'm like, this dude's been living in the real world for 
eight or nine years. You know, that's what's going on. He's been living in the real world. But people he, aren't saying what they say on this on the on internet. Twitter, mm -hmm. where they're mad at labradoodles, right? And that's that's the problem. He's welcome back to welcome back to the fake reality that is manufactured on social media and by your peers in the media. Now, it's a very different scene than it was 10 or 12 years ago. You're not allowed to have nuanced conversation. Apparently, uh, Colbert was kind of pissed at him too for the, the bit. And I remember he looked shocked, like, oh my God, how can you say this on TV? You're one of us. And it's like, no, he just, he's got a good point. It was a funny bit. Just, it is what it is, but you're not allowed to judge. This is a guy who was, you know, dancing around as a syringe or something on the, you know, on his show, Colbert. But. Yeah. I just, you know, you, you have, it, it is, it is concerning and it's, it's, it's just a whole mentality anymore that you have to align yourself completely or you get now most people i think are rational most people like i said the real world yeah. uh they're they might lean left they might lean right but they're pretty reasonable people it's the extremists that you hear the loudest on twitter and places like that that are like running at the mouth and even the people like that are, are making comments you know you, that you call it in between us or whatever they they probably don't honestly believe that either but they don't want to no. get canceled that's that's exactly they're it. They're the mouthpiece for yes. whatever extremism they want to be part of. So they have and to be loud about it because they're like, well, we can't let people think that uh, you know I, I I feel like I'm you know on the right or something. You I got to make sure. You have to won't. question anything. You have to just believe it, take it as as gospel, and and you know understand your place, understand what you're supposed to do, and you're and then when you have free thinkers, that's a problem. So anyway, it is what it is. I hate even getting political at all on this channel. So I don't know if you would count this. I'm just talking about entertainment. This and is entertainment. I'm not even allowed to make jokes. Yeah. The Daily Show was a comedy sketch show, kind of, sort of, into the news, but it was more of a comedy take You're on You're not even news. allowed to make a joke or you even just point out, or just point out, in this case, pointing out the obvious, Biden's old. But Biden is old. No shit. Um, he is you know, old. Now, that doesn't mean that just because you're older in the 70s means that you're not, you know, able to run a country, but... I do think that we need to find younger candidates for president. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, please, please. Are we going to wrap this up? Yes. There we go. It's going to be very interesting to see where, uh, if he has to, you know, take it all back and not not criticize the left at all. What uh, did we thought he was going to get when he came in the show? I mean, like. He was surprised by the COVID backlash. Like, I'm like, shouldn't that be your first indication? Yeah, I was like two years, two or three years ago. I'm like, dude, they, they went after you, you for can't. that. You're you not allowed to say, say yes. anything. You only can say what they what they have approved you to say. So we're going to wrap this up. Please yes. subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.